Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Gary Ruffhead recently joined Naval Service Training Command in celebrating the Naval Reserve Officers Training Corps season of commissionings. Visiting Florida A&M University in Tallahassee, Florida, CNO swore in six new Navy ensigns and four Marine Corps second lieutenants from area NROTC units. As we enjoy this day in Tallahassee, ensigns and second lieutenants are on watch around the world. They're ensuring the security of our nation and the protection of our nation's interests. Samuel Phillips, a former Marine Corps staff sergeant and now commissioned second lieutenant, was impressed with CNO's words. So I think it was a great honor to have him here and it was very exciting and, um, and I was very humbled. In addition to speaking to the midshipmen informally prior to the ceremony, Admiral Roughhead looked on proudly as the new officers' ranks were pinned on by their loved ones. It's, uh, it's, it's quite an emotional rush uh, to be able to think that these young men and women are the next generation of our nation. Uh, to be able to spend a little bit of time with them, uh, to perhaps impart some things that I've learned along the way, but to also convey to them the importance of what they're going to do. The Navy ROTC program, overseen by Naval Service Training Command in Great Lakes, Illinois, is celebrating its season of commissionings, as nearly 100 ROTC units nationwide are in the midst of commissioning the Navy and Marine Corps' newest officers. Well, the importance of uh, the Reserve, Navy Reserve Officer Training Corps program is that we continue to draw from the ROTC units across the country great young men and women to lead our Navy and Marine Corps in the future. Early on in Admiral Roughhead's tenure as CNO, he set diversity in the workforce as one of his main priorities. Florida A&M University, the fourth of six historically black college and universities to establish an NROTC unit, was an excellent venue to speak about his outlook on diversity in the military. Diversity is important to the future of the Navy because from diverse leaders, from diverse sailors, we can develop better solutions to problems. It gives us different skills, different perspectives, uh, so that when we are out doing the important work of the nation, we can develop the very best solutions, the very best options that we need. For Naval Service Training Command, I'm Todd Willebrand.